So before we get into the full tour, I just want to do a little introduction to this trailer. Um, it's built on a 28-foot Featherlight car hauler chassis, and it's all aluminum. These are these Featherlights are the best of the best. This is a sixty to seventy thousand dollar trailer before options, and this one was optioned out. Um, so as good as it gets, it's better built than an Airstream, fully aluminum, and it, nothing will ever happen to this trailer. It rides on torsion, dual torsion axles with, with brakes, and it's large 16-inch. Um, they're effectively truck tires, so really well designed. It rides incredibly well, and it's much lower than a lot of, uh, a lot of other RVs, although you still have over 7 feet of ceiling height. Um, so the concept behind this trailer was to build a comfortable luxury trailer that you could bring your motorcycles in, and go somewhere and set up camp and stay there for extended periods and be comfortable. So it fits full two full-size BMW. Uh, we used our 1200 GSs as a test. They fit in below the bed. You raise the bed up and put them in. And then when you get to your location, you would take them out, lower the bed back down, and um, you've got lots of space. The comfort side, we put um, a mini split heat pump, which you can see the unit up here. That air conditions the whole trailer effortlessly. It's silent, so there's no noise, unlike normal rooftop air conditioners. It's also a heat pump, so we've had it going as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius, which is below, well below freezing, uh, and it keeps the trailer comfortably warm. We also did heated floors. So in the other build I did on the van with the mini split, which you can see a video of, that was for my mother who spends six months out of every year down in Florida or South Carolina. And out of everything in that build, and it's an impressive build with lots of neat features, her favorite feature <clears throat> is the heated floors. And so we put heated floors in through this entire trailer. Every area is heated, including the bathroom. So you can have nice gentle warmth on your feet while you're walking around in cool temperatures, even if you don't want to turn on the full heat. <clears throat> we made the theater room super, super comfortable with a Sonos sound, surround sound system, a Samsung OLED frame TV. These are the as good as it gets. You know, top of the line fireplace, the best couch you can buy. Um, we've done everything. So we wanted you, if you're parked for long periods, have a big kitchen. So there's a huge kitchen with solid surface countertops. You know, we put the soap dispenser in the counter that matches the Kohler faucet. So... You don't have to worry about moving the soap away every time you move the trailer. Got water filtration, so you don't have to worry about the quality of the water at your campsite. Lots of lighting. We've um, put in, you know, a inverter microwave because they heat up food better. You've got a pull-out coffee station where you can set up all your favorite coffee gear and tuck it away in the evening when you don't want to see it. Uh, things like up here, the skylight is motorized, so you can just hit a button open up your skylight and enjoy, you know, open air in your bathroom and still have privacy because it's a skylight. Um, every, every detail was thought out. For eating, we thought, if you don't want to eat outside, we raised the fridge up for two reasons. One was to make it easier to access uh, without having to bend down, but also down in this cupboard below, you can keep chairs and a table, pull them out and set it up right here. It's a huge area. And you can have, a, you know, your bistro table and chairs. And then if you wanted more company or a bigger area, you can raise the bed up in less than a minute and turn that into a dining room. There's plenty of room. And then you can leave the dining room set up and lower the bed at nighttime. Um, if you don't, this is all if you don't want to eat outside. But there is tons of room, no shortage of, of um, spacious feeling to this trailer. And... Every detail has been thought out. So with that, I'm going to start the full tour, but I just wanted to sort of give an introduction to our thinking behind it. And, um, you know, hope you guys enjoy this. It is for sale, so if anyone's interested, please contact me. So we're finally reaching completion on the luxury trailer build. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the features. This is a 28-foot Featherlight trailer, all aluminum, top-of-the-line trailer. Rides nicer than an Airstream. Beautiful on the highway. 
It's got huge oversized wheels, very smooth ride, generator compartment, mini split AC system, smart plug on the outside with 30 amp service, uh, cameras all around. You can see the one at the, the front, side one up there. Probably could, could have seen the rear one. This this trailer was designed as a car hauler, so you can open up the back gate, which I'll show you later, and load in two full-size motorcycles. And the bed is on a motorized lift, so it raises out of the way once you put in your when you want to put in your motorcycles. Down here we have a vent for the composting toilet. Let's go inside. So as we enter, you can see the serene design. This is not like any other RV you've ever seen. So that's the entryway there where we just came in. There's a, the mini split. The beautiful luxury vinyl tile flooring. It's completely waterproof, four season capable. So you enter into the kitchen and here we've got a full, extremely long countertop, eight feet of counter space. The wide angle lens actually makes it hard to see proportions, but we actually have a very large, beautiful copper sink and Kohler faucet, soap dispenser, and a um, water filtration system that will actually filter um, boil water advisory levels of water. Got full banks of drawers through here. Up above we have um, Victron system here. You can see we're not plugged in right now, but we've got solar, 900 watts of solar on the roof. We've got um, 430 amp hours of battery, lithium batteries. Then in here we have Blue Sea breaker, AC and DC panels, switch over for generator, 30 amp reverse polarity protection circuit for your main plug-in. Everything's beautifully labeled. There's room for expansion. And we've got a plug there for the um, camera system if you want to have the camera inside while you're camping or you can have it in your car while you're driving. On this side we just have a very large pantry and below we have a built-in inverter microwave top-of-the-line Panasonic. Um, here we've got a coffee nook. You can actually open this up. Slide out your coffee station here and then tuck it away out of sight when you're using it. Countertops, if you can see them, they are Corian, solid surface. It's a very nice, serene color combination. And all the drawers have already been set up with organization. These are all soft clothes. Use a lot of IKEA. The cabinetry is all 80-20 as in my first video, but you can see um, various IKEA things like we've got garbage recycle, slides in. Back here you can see the water filtration system in the back there. You know, more storage here. We've even got you started with some cutlery. All of the drawers are set up. Um, you may notice there's no stove. And one thing that I've talked about in other videos is that we prefer to not do built-ins. So in the drawer below, we have a beautiful, included with the trailer, a beautiful uh, butane stove. And if you're not familiar with these, it's that quick to turn it on, turn it off. So you can move that around anywhere in the kitchen. And then if you want to take advantage of hydro, You've got a quartz halogen cooktop and you've got a plug right there to plug it in. 
So you have a choice of how you want to do it. You can set them anywhere in the kitchen, take them outside onto the picnic table, and when you're not using them, you can just tuck them away in the drawer and then it's out of sight. Here we have light switches. So we have under cabinet lighting. There's lots of light up above. We've got a light system here. I've broken it up into two. So on the kitchen side, you can shut it off independently if you want to have the kitchen a little bit darker. And then the main area lights up the entryway and through the fridge cabinet, which is shut off. Switches are at the entry door. So opposite the kitchen, on this side we have another bank of cabinets. We've got your fridge, which is a Nova Cool, made in Canada, top of the line marine fridge, very large um, refrigerator, German compressor fridge, and you also have a separate door for your freezer compartment, again quite large. And we matched the doors to the cabinetry. But nice and high so you don't have to bend down we have storage down below these cabinets in here are closets so we've got hanging space um, up above we have more space down below this cupboard so it's a sort of a his and hers on each side you have 24 inch by almost seven feet cabinets with hanging space and storage and then the kitchen starts and you've got banks of 24 inch drawers, the under sink, another 24 inch drawer. And then down here we've got, um, we have Victron system where we have double 30 amp solar charge controllers. We've got the 3000 uh, multi plus system two lithium heated batteries, Servo GX Lynx distributor. We've got solar shutoffs here if you ever want to shut off the solar. It's imperative that you have a separate shutoffs for them. There's two solar arrays, one for each solar panel. Then on this side we've got the plumbing. I'm trying to figure out how I can show it to you. We've got dual hot water or water heaters. Here's your pump. Fresh water tank, there's an expansion tank, and then down there you've got the drain. So you can drain everything out from inside the trailer effortlessly when you want to winterize. Three nice big windows, and the windows, all of the windows in here have their European double pane. They open awning style with different clicks. And you can pull down for a mosquito screen. You can pull up for privacy with reflective heat shield. And you can put them anywhere in between if you want some privacy, but you still want to let in some, some light. Fantastic windows. They lock. And they have a latch to leave them partly open a crack. And that allows you to drive when they're in that mode. Or you can shut them completely. So that's the kitchen up above. We've got sliding cabinets with a rice paper design and they're all backlit. Shut the lights off, you might be able to see it better. They're all backlit up there as well. So that's the kitchen. As we come around this way, back by the entry door, we've got the bathroom. It's surrounded by this beautiful oak plank. Uh, interior siding and behind the oak plank the black you see is actually a sound absorption felt so it absorbs sound from echoing throughout the camper and absorbs uh, gives you some soundproofing so inside the bathroom we've got our composting toilet we've got a full sink again we went with the hammered copper we've got a delta faucet in here this faucet swivels so you can actually move it out of the way as you're using it We've got our fan up there, a huge motorized skylight, again with the screen and the block up. And it's lighted, we've got light switches over here to control each the fan and fan lights and the sun sunroof lights individually. 
Oxygenics, deluxe shower head, RV shower head, um, self draining faucet for the shower, frosted doors to finish it off. Gives you a beautiful effect in the bathroom. Composting toilet is compost, it's fiberglass made in England. These are top quality units. It's got a sliding door for the back part. There's nothing in there right now. And then the urine dispenser. And underneath you've got a um, the urine tank to empty out. Paper there. And working our way back. Okay, so working our way back out of the bathroom. We come down through the kitchen area. Next, we've got the theater room. And this is a top of the line stressless coach. These coaches retail for over $10,000. If you know them, you understand why. If you don't, I'll try and explain a little bit. They're um, made in Scandinavia. They fully recline, the headrests are motorized, the lower part's motorized. They're uh, European leather, Napa leather, phenomenally comfortable. Just an incredible couch. The camera doesn't capture it fully. Uh, we have two lights on individual switches for reading on this side. Beautiful background uh, wall covering in here. And then if I rotate around, we've got the entertainment center. So this cabinet is custom built with the same oak plank with sound absorbing felt. Backlit on both sides. You've got a top of the line fireplace. I can put the specs in the description. It provides two levels of heat. You can have sound, you can change the colors, you can change, fully customize it. And then we have a 55 inch brand new Samsung frame OLED TV. And above that, we've got a Sonos soundbar. And the Sonos sound bar is accompanied by a subwoofer. Sonos subwoofer, which is tucked in the back there, um, which gives it incredible sound. And the Sonos sound bar is attached, if you can see, by aluminum brackets mounted directly onto the 8020 framing that's in the, the back of the cabinet. But pretty incredible spot to be when you're wanting to just chill out and watch a show or read by the fire and then past the theater room actually what I'll do first is I'll show you what the couch looks like when it's extended just to give you an idea okay this is what the couch looks like extended and fully so you're back almost in a uh, complete sleep mode there but perfect li alignment with the TV and like I said you can adjust like the headrest angle Optimize what you want and lower the main part, adjust the leg position. Each person can fine tune their own spot, and then you can close it back up into uh, the normal couch mode. But I can't even describe how comfortable these couches are. Okay, so to talk about the bedroom now, I think we've covered off everything else. The bed is on a uh, motorized lift and below the bed is storage for two full-size motorcycles or whatever other toys you want. And on the one side we have a bank of um, really nice uh, garage style cabinets with a stainless steel countertop. <clears throat> but in bedroom mode, this is what it looks like. It's a full, full mattress, six inch mattress with um, with full uh, uh, wooden coils underneath. Yet window on each side for cross ventilation. We've got some really nice custom lights up top. The yellow light you see at the back is part of the ambient lighting mode. And you can actually turn that on when you enter the front door. And you can turn it off when you're in the bed. There's a uh, bank of switches. So it's a three-way switch. So you can use that ambient lighting, which also lights up um, the sides of the TV area, the cabinetry up above, 
um, the kitchen. All of that is lit up with a three-way switch, which you can turn on when you enter the front door, and you can turn it off when you're in bed. And that's enough to light it up if you need to get up to go to the washroom at night or move around without having bright lights on. So extremely convenient from that perspective. <clears throat> Put sides on each, each side of the bed um, to have, um, you know, books, water glasses, whatever you want to put up there. The bed raises right to the ceiling. It's a queen, full queen bed, custom made with a poplar um, frame. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll raise it up and show you what it looks like once it's raised. It raises up on um, actuators. It's electric. It takes about a full minute to raise. Um, but you don't do it very often and works quite well. As we're waiting for it to raise, I'm just going to walk around and give you some more views. Got the ceiling lights off right now. The camera is able to sort of pick up colors better. See a bit of sunlight coming through these windows. These windows in the door are also fully operable with the same um, blackout screen and shade. They tilt open. They have the in-between function as well so when you're driving if you want to leave it cracked you can leave that crack open it's got a full dead bolt and this is one solid door I've never felt a door that's so solid um, to talk about the rest of the van or the trailer it's fully insulated walls ceiling floor complete insulation package inside the door everything is insulated um, even around where the generator cabinet was it's fully insulated so it retains um, the temp temperature inside very well. In the summer it keeps out the, the hot sun from the ceiling um, and in the winter it keeps the heat in really nicely. This heat pump mini split will give you full air conditioning and it's also a, a heat pump so it will heat it up. Um, I've had it using it in minus 15 Celsius and no problem heating the whole trailer. The other nice thing we did in here was we put heated floors so all of the floors you see starting from when you get out of the bed all the way down here in front of the couch all the way down this way and then there's another one that goes all the way down along the kitchen and there's one inside the bathroom as well all those floors are heated and you can turn them on again in the panel here um, where it says heater so that will activate the heated floors and they just make the floors warm to your feet. It actually will warm up the trailer quite nicely, but there's nothing like that feeling of walking in your bare feet or sock feet on warm, warm floors. And it's everywhere. And it cover, comes across into the entryway as well. So we've covered the whole area um, and it makes a huge difference in just in, in cooler temperatures where you don't want to turn on the full heat. But when you turn on the heat, this heat pump is so efficient. It's incredibly quiet. Air conditioner, you can't even tell it's on. Like it's, it's amazing. It has no problem cooling it down in 100 degree Fahrenheit weather. We've tried it out um, and it's just phenomenal. And it will run off the batteries for probably about six to eight hours uh, if you're not plugged in. And if you have solar, obviously you can go, go much longer than that. Okay, so the bed is raised up now and you can see how high it goes. Um, that's where it stops. It just has stop limits. So it'll stop right there. And when you lower it, it'll stop right at the countertop. <clears throat> and so you can fit in um, two full-size motorcycles here. I'll include some pictures in the video of our BMWs in there for a test. And then uh, you have just over six feet of height to walk through. Behind the curtains is the actual door. It can fold down. You can set it part way as a patio and open up the curtains. We've got a bug screen that goes all the way across with a magnetic opening. Um, so you can use it that way and we figured you could use this as a sitting area as well if you wanted. The door itself is a swinging door, double swinging door. So this is the cabinetry here. They're all locking latches. Got drawers also. They're locking drawers so they lock closed. You can lift them to open them. And they're all roller, roller bearing drawers. Lots of room. And these cabinets are amazing just for storing. And then you've got a full workbench surface. We put some tie down spots. Um, so everything's covered off there. And then behind here, like I was saying, you've got the ramp. If you want to pull across on a track, 
we've got a screen with a, with an opening in the middle of it um, that's magnetic so you can walk through and it makes for a great patio and I'm standing in here now and it's um, I'm 5'11 and I can walk under here no problem <clears throat> then I'll just close up the curtains we like the curtains it makes it feel a little bit more warm in here without seeing the uh, aluminum ramp Got some under, under lighting in here as well. Once it's open, it's motion activated. Then I can just hit the I can just hit the toggle switch there, and it'll just start lowering down. And in one minute, it'll be lowered right down. Those lifts can handle over 200. I think it's 240 pounds each. So you've got over a thousand pound capacity on that bed at any point. So you can stop it anywhere you want and be on top of the bed or have full weight and. Uh, they can, they can hold that, that weight. <clears throat> the only thing you have to be careful of is not leave anything on that countertop or anything on top of the bed because it will crush it, whatever you have there. But it works beautifully. You can drive in an up, up position or down position. There are on the wall, you can see there are linear guides with bearings that it's moving in. That holds the bed stable in addition to the uh, actuators so they have roller guides I mean they're used in, in industrial applications so it holds the bed so this whole platform will not move it's nice and solid and you can see how fast it goes down it's pretty quick and it'll just stop by itself once it reaches the uh, lower stop limit you can use the toggle switch to stop it anywhere you want but if you leave it it'll just come down and then stop when it reaches uh, the limit Just levels out and there you go you go um, you're done some people ask if you can use these to level the bed if the trailer is not level and really they're not designed for that you're actually putting a lot of stress on the mechanism so I've set it up so it's all linked together you can't do that um, so it's just gonna raise and lower um, all four at the same time because raising the front or raising the back separately will stress the whole thing and you'll eventually damage the actuators So I think I've covered off just about everything. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Like I said, this trailer has been, um, it's been a huge project for us. It's taken almost 12 months to build. We did not spare costs on anything. Like this was the most expensive fireplace we could find, but it was the most realistic looking one. This TV is a, is a Samsung, the frame OLED. If you can see how I don't know if you can tell how thin it is and how beautifully it fits on the wall, but again, as good as you can buy. Same thing for the Sonos Arc sound system with the subwoofer, the cabinetry, the fridge, the heat pump, top of the line microwave, copper sinks. Um, we've got pretty much the best water filtration system you can buy. They use it in, in the yachting world. These are the remotes for the uh, Max Air fan, which is in the kitchen. And that's your heat pump. That's the Max Air fan there. Again, best fan you can you can get. Um, on the roof, we have 900 watts of solar, as I think I mentioned, um, and then the skylight as well. The roof is all aluminum as well in the Featherlight, so there is nothing to maintain. There is no membrane to worry about. It's fully aluminum. The entire trailer is made out of aluminum. There is nothing to rot in this trailer. The only wood you see is just the cabinet doors and the oak planks, but they're all exposed, so there won't be any rot with those um, if you have moisture. And then, like we said, inside the cabinetry, everything is made out of aluminum extrusions. So all of the cabinetry is made with what's called 8020, and it doesn't move, it's super solid, and there's nothing, again, to rot out. But it's got an incredible feel to it. It feels like you're in an upscale hotel when you're in here. And from the outside, this trailer pulls like an Airstream, if you're familiar with them. It has a dual torsion axle um, uh, wheel system, and it, it's just, it just rides like you can't even tell it's there. It's the nicest riding trailer I've ever had. We marvel at how, how well it pulls, because we've done lots of test runs with it. We've taken it to the weigh scale, so I can put that information in as well, but I think we're weighing in around 6,000 pounds right now. 
uh, which is which is pretty light for for the size of this trailer and what we put in it but everything's aluminum um, on the outside we have a lighting on the this the above the door which you can choose to have it as either white or amber amber is my choice especially at night times so you don't know your neighbors and it doesn't attract bugs so we've thought of all the little things for you we've put um, all of our knowledge to the test on on this build and we think the end result is phenomenal i mean if you're thinking of driving somewhere and you want to be comfortable for an extended period of time the spaciousness and the openness of this trailer will certainly accomplish that and then you can bring your motorcycles or whatever you want and pull them out and then have an extra bonus room and your bedroom all still in here. And if you like to cook, you won't get a better kitchen than this in any kind of RV or trailer. Just beautiful. Solid surface, Corian countertops, um, gourmet sink, everything's there. The drying rack built in. So top of the line Victron system. That system alone is worth over $10,000 with lithium batteries. Uh, but this trailer really, it's all electric. There's no propane. Um, or gas so it was really meant to be plugged in you can run it off the lithium for periods so if you're on your way to a campground you want to stay overnight for a few days you're covered with the lithium but once you plug in and you plug in and you have water hook up as well you've basically got your own apartment it's got everything everything ready to go that's it any questions feel free to ask hope you enjoy it just to show you the camera, um, like I said, we put a little cord here you can plug in. Otherwise, it is a cigarette lighter power cord for inside your car. Um, but this gives you an idea. You can switch full screen on all the cameras. But in the top left there, that's the rear view. Um, where my driveways, you can't really see too much. But that's the view out the back. If you're backing up, you get a really nice wide angle. Uh, top right is obviously the front where it's connected to the truck. And then you've got the two bottom ones are your side views looking from the front of the trailer towards the back. So as you're backing up, you get a, you get a really nice view of everything that's going on. And the cameras, as you can see, have microphones. The only one I have turned on right now is the rear um, with the intention that if someone was helping you back up, they could be speaking as you're backing up and you would hear it through the speaker on the screen. And the cameras are all wired into the trailer and then the signal is sent wirelessly from the trailer to this module which works great. It is no problem reaching from the truck or even farther away. And then like I said it's nice to have it inside when you've got everything closed up. You can see what's going on if there's someone, <coughs> someone around. Just to talk a little bit more about the Victron system. Um, in addition to having a really nice visual of what the system looks like, you can um, <clears throat> hard to do it from left hand here. You can go in and actually access the various components, and you see here in the inverter, we've got the input current limit set at 30 amps. And so that would be if we were using a 30 amp shore connection. Um, if we were plugging it into our house, for instance, and we only had 15 or 20 amps, so a normal household outlet, <clears throat> you could set that at 15 amps, for instance, and it would prevent the trailer from pulling more than 15 amps from your shore cord. But if you then were using more than 15 amps in the trailer, it will actually supplement with the lithium batteries so you don't trip a breaker and so you can actually use what you want to use. So if you had the air conditioner running, the water heater on, and the microwave going, you're probably pulling more than 15 amps. So if you had the input current limit set to 15 amps, the MultiPlus, the Victron MultiPlus, what it does is automatically will supplement the voltage from the lithium batteries so you can have 30 amps even though you're not plugged into 30 amps. It's a, it's a remarkable system. And then when you're no longer using all of those devices, even on 15 amp service, it will then charge back up the lithium batteries so they're ready for the next time you have a big draw. So it's an incredibly simple but effective system that most RVs do not have. 
um, and it's it's expensive, but it works, and it's well worth um, worth having. So just to touch on the generator compartment um, on the driver's side, we've got a vented, quite large generator compartment. There's a pass through for the water hose as well, which that connects is inside the compartment. Um, down here we've got our smart plug connection, and over there we have our water tank fill connection. This generator compartment has a magnetic latch, so you can just open it up. It's fully vented, as you can see. Put it up top, and it stays open. And you can see it's big enough here for a Honda generator, gas can, hoses. We've got you. We've got a drain hose for you there. Um, there's the city water connection, and a Wi-Fi antenna if you want to use that, um, and a generator connection. And the switch over to the generator connection is in the um, blue C panels that I showed on the inside of the kitchen. Um, that compartment is sealed. It's heat heat proof uh, aluminum with a uh, some kind of fireproof insulation inside it um, and it's fully fully sectioned off so you won't have any fumes coming in or anything a uh, really nice place to store weight distribution hitch and gas or anything that might have an odor uh, if you want to bring it and nice and clean to tuck away it's lockable and you're you're good to go Talk about the ride comfort on here with the torsion axles and the Featherlight um, tire package. You can see here we've got Goodyear Endurance um, 235ADR16 wheels. They're massive wheels. They're wide. They're super, super good ride. Aluminum rims, um, electronic brakes, everything that you could want. But, but with the uh, torsion axles, you just got a phenomenal ride and incredible handling. You don't need to use stability um, stabilizers or anything else because it just rides so nicely. Over here, there's a latch to hold the door open if you want to. Uh, it's got a dead bolt and the step is really easy to put away. Lift slides and then it locks in. And you're ready to go. Porch light there. Camera. 360 degree cameras.